Hey everyone, Ivan from Anything Pixels. In this video, we're going to be going through layers. I'm just going to be explaining them briefly to you, how to create new layers, how to order them, and a few shortcuts on how to duplicate them and merge them. Okay, well, I hope you found this find this video helpful. Let's get started. Okay, so I've got a new document open here. It's just a square one, uh, 1,500 by 1,500. As you can see here, we've got our background layer. If, if you don't have your layers panel open, just go to window and layers just over here, or the shortcut is F7. If you don't want a background layer, if you just want it as a normal layer, just double click on it and rename it. At the moment, it's layer zero because it is the most bottom one. If you want new layers, just click on the, the new layer button just over there, or you can click Control Shift and N, and it will give you a new layer option box, and you can rename it. I'm just going to rename it Brush, and it comes up just over there. And if you wanted to create a layer under the brush layer, Control Shift and the new layer button just over here. Okay, I just want to go through layer ordering with you as well. So you can see over here, I have four images, each on a separate layer. We've got our background, which is layer zero. And then we've got layer one, two, three, and four. Okay, so they stacked up in the right position. If we wanted to reorder them for some reason, we can move them about. So let's say I wanted this image here to be on the top and that and at the bottom. We can go up here first. So you can see here I've got auto select selected. So that will select each one individually like that, which is quite handy for some reasons and for some other reasons it gets quite annoying. So if you unselect that, I'll just show you. I've got layer four selected, which is my top image. If I wanted to move, let's say this one, it's not gonna do it because I don't have auto select selected. Okay, for this example, I'm going to have it activated just to make life a little bit easier for us. So I'm moving those around with my auto select and you can see over here, the layers are staying in the same position, which for this example is not good because I want this image here to be on the top, but it is behind that one. So all we need to do now, you can move layers around. So with my layer three selected, which is this image, I'll just click it and drag it up and there we go. So it ends up on the top. It's quite handy to know the layers can get quite complicated. I suggest naming your layers quite often as much as you can, because if I just looked at this, I wouldn't know which image is here if I had a lot of layers. Okay. So if I wanted to group layers together, I just want to have the top one selected, go down to the bottom one holding shift and clicking, so it selects all of them. <clears throat> Control and G groups them together. And you can see here, it's placed them in their own group. So if we wanted to rename it, we can just double click and we can name it, let's say, just call it stack, because it's a stack of images. Okay, so I'm gonna undo that, because I wanna show you something else. And if we wanted to merge all of these layers together, you can push control and E and that kind of flattens them. Oh, I didn't have all of them selected there. Let's undo that. Let's say I wanted to merge those two layers together, but not the other ones. I'll do control and E and you can see there, they are on their own layer now. But the only thing with that, I can't individually edit them. Okay, I'm doing that. If I want to flatten an image, so everything is on one layer. I'll do Control, Alt, Shift, and E, and that's called um, image flattening. So they're all on the layer. If I didn't want the background to be on the merge, I'll just click the eye icon and it hides them. So Control, Alt, Shift, and E, and they are on their own layer, which you can see just over here. Okay, one more thing I forgot to mention about the grouping. Let's just group them again, Control and G. You can move them all individually. 
make sure auto select is off, not individually, sorry, all together. So I've got the group selected. You can see the layers just over there. Auto select is off and I can move them around. If I had auto select on, it will move them independently. Okay. And if you wanted to, let's say, align them, you can select them all. Let's not select the background yet. So I'm selecting them all, shift and clicking, and align horizontally is just over there. Okay. I'm not going to do it vertically because it just flattens them into the center. And if I wanted to space them out, so the space here between each layer is identical, you can go up here to distrib distribute vertically. So now all the space should be the same. Okay, well, that's just a basic information about the layers. I hope you found it helpful. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and enable notifications for more. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.